starts the same way. Standing backstage in front of a single curtain, the only thing that separates you from the WWE universe in the moment that would change your life forever, your WWE debut. For some, it means stepping in front of a crowd that immediately erupts Of course, that match was an instant classic. But, Justine, which match of yours wasn't a classic? Oh, you're way too kind, Robin. To point out that very real truth. Were you nervous at all? Me? Nervous? <laughs> of course not. I had that match on lock. In fact, I was always calm, cool, and collected. From my first day in the ring to my sixth championship victory. The following. And introducing the champion from Forest of...
Watching my first title win again? <laughs> After you topped it up so much on your podcast this week, how can I not? Don't get me wrong, it's a fantastic match. I just figured you had it memorized by now. Sure, but it's a tradition at this point. Is it my favorite aunt? Only aunt. Watch her most epic victories. And now also stress about what I have to live up to in my debut at Survivor Series tomorrow night. <laughs> uh, why are you laughing? Oh, nothing. Just that if I didn't know better, I'd say you were nervous, which is super hilarious. Because I know that I didn't teach my favorite niece. Only niece. To be nervous about getting in the ring and doing what she does best. Yeah. Especially not when she's been trained by one of the biggest legends in the business. If I'm being honest, there's really no comparison. <laughs> you really do manage to turn everything into a compliment about yourself, don't you? Of course I do. I'm a six-time women's champion. Would have been ten if my career hadn't been cut short by injury. I get it. A main eventer and Hall of Famer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who had the top merch sales in the 2003 fiscal year. Okay, you've made your point. I should get ready for tomorrow. That's my girl.
As the mystery SmackDown competitor, shouldn't I have been shuttled in secretly or something? The whole golf cart with the black sheets get up? Don't worry about it. No one knows who you are. Yet. No one knows who you are yet. Tom. Justine. And LJ, too? It's so good to see you both. Same here, Tom. Wait, do you even still go by LJ? Man, it was always a hoot and a half having you backstage when you were a kid, dressing up in Justine's gear, being her shadow, her little Justine. But suppose you're not eight anymore, huh? It's fine. But I am trying to get known on my own here. I've heard. Good thing you're debuting tonight. The secret's pretty much out backstage. A few more hours and it'd be out to the entire WWE universe. You doing something here tonight too, Justine? Nope, just here to support my niece's big moment. Come on, surely you'll find some way to steal the spotlight. <sighs> Molly. Justine. Wow, I I've got a, I, I, I better go check on the, uh, yeah, I got no good reason, but I'm gonna leave now. I heard you were working backstage these days. Beat sitting at home, talking to the internet. It's called a podcast, and it's very popular. But I'm not here to resurrect old rivalries. Would you really call it a rivalry if there's a clear conclusion and undisputed winner? I was actually here to greet our newest WWE superstar. Wish her luck. She doesn't need luck. And let her know that I'll be working with her to get her ready for her Survivor Series debut this evening. Is that all right? No, that's great. I'm so excited to be here representing Team SmackDown. Great, get settled and then let's talk. Justine. Please don't make things more difficult for me on my first day. Besides, you two were friends once. Sorry, you're right. It's just, well, you know what she did. It might be ancient history and there's no reason for her to mess with you, but be careful with Molly, okay? I'm gonna go say hello to people. You all right? I'm all right. I'm ready. Yeah, you are. <laughs> I love you, kid. You'll do great. I hope you don't think we're going to be friends. I certainly won't be taking it easy on you tonight. Hello to you too. Figured we'd go hard in the ring since you're Team Raw and I'm Team SmackDown, but uh, excuse me? Just because we both come from famous wrestling lineage doesn't mean we have anything in common. Sorry if I offended you in some way. Ugh. I have a lot of respect for your aunt. You, not so much. You're only here because you're cashing in on her legacy. But do your best not to make all of us second generation superstars look bad, okay? Though it's gonna be hard tonight when you're competing against me. Hey, nice to finally meet the EST of WWE. What? Isn't that you? <laughs> 
as in new S superstar in WWE. Ready to show Team Raw what's up tonight? You know it. That's exactly what I'm here to do. Now that's the confidence I like to hear. And remember, the rest of Team SmackDown has your back. Although, ideally, we would have at least met each other to get on the same page before today. Yeah, they said they were really trying to keep my debut a secret. I get it. I mean, the WWE Universe is going to lose their minds when they realize you're related. She's as awesome as you think. I respect that. Hi, I'm... LJ, Little Justine. Yeah, I overheard. How oh, precious. Yeah, I was actually going to say I recognize you from NXT 2.0. Ava Moreno, right? You had some great matches with Cora Jade. I didn't realize you had gotten drafted to SmackDown. Guess your famous WWE legend aunt hasn't been able to get you up to speed on everything. Honestly, we've been pretty busy prepping for my debut. I'm a little out of the loop on everything else. Who's your match with tonight? I don't have a match on the show tonight. Not all of us are able to skip the line, LJ. Sorry, I didn't mean to offend you. There's a lot to take in and I'm still trying to get the lay of the land. Let me lay it out for you. A girl named Ava works her whole life to be the best athlete she can be. Excels at some things naturally, puts in the time to get better at the rest gets signed to WWE, continues to grind. What's your point? Some of us work hard. Some of us work harder. And some of us, LJ, get to waltz into Survivor Series and get put into a match that the rest of us, those of us who have done everything by the book, would kill for. My aunt is a legend, but I'm good at this. I got here on my own. I'm not just some nepotism signing. <laughs> got here on your own? We'll see what happens tonight. Maybe you are good, and you'll prove that. Regardless, I haven't been given the same opportunity on this brand to prove how good I am. So excuse me if I don't play nice with little Justine, the... Sorry I wasn't able to check in with you sooner. It's always nuts backstage before a major show. And I lost a full 20 minutes to Happy Corbin, who wanted to practice a stand-up routine on me. Luckily, Xia Li overheard and protected me from his bad jokes. How are you doing? Feeling good about tonight? Honestly, I'm ready. I've trained my whole life for this. All right. Let's take that confidence, earned or not, and channel it into a great debut. For what it's worth, you guys have some his- That's a conversation. Custom gear? Honestly, I- No, I mean I- Huh. But I brought my- Listen. I'll wear the gear. Justine trained me. I wouldn't be here without her. And I do want to honor her legacy. If it gets me a massive pop, that's just an added bonus. Great. Management will be happy that you're towing the line. Just bring the performance to complement it. Maybe dressing like your aunt will even inspire you in the ring. Better go get changed. It's go time.
The wait is over for the reveal of Team SmackDown's mystery partner. The following contest is a six-woman tag team match. On the way to the ring, the Superstar, Liv Morgan and Bianca Belair. Oh. Team SmackDown. Do you know who that is? The final member of Team SmackDown is none other than the niece of WWE Hall of Famer, Justine. The last legacy superstar I remember debuting at Survivor Series was The Rock. No pressure, kid. It's Team Raw ready to battle for brand supremacy. And their opponents, Rhea Ripley, Charlotte Flair, and Bane! It's time for what we've all been waiting for. Raw and SmackDown Survivor Series clash between six of the most talented superstars we've ever had in this match. Six. I count five seasoned WWE superstars and a green as grass rookie who looks like a deer locked in headlights. Justine's niece may not have a ton of experience, or any really, but she's got WWE in her blood, Corey. Check out her nod to her Hall of Fame aunt's first championship win in her brand new gear. Ridiculous standing shooting star. Sometimes you just gotta show off and show out. Gets the tag. Look at this incredible power. The Gorilla Press. Wow. And a moonsault. What a combo. Into the corner. This can't be good. Here's a tag. Opponent off the ropes. Got a big back body drop. The fatigue is setting in for her. I know you don't expect her to make it through this match without any sort of damage, Cole, but don't forget, she has partners who can share some of the load, should things really come to that point. Counters, this could be an opportunity. A suplex. This is just brute power. My goodness, absolute dominance. Creeping into the wheelbarrow. Snapman. Oh, round and round we go. Tilt the world head scissors. Tag made. takes a lot in a match like this. You can see her struggling to find her bearings from the top. Nobody home for that one. Both knees into the face. Uh-oh. No way. Devastating Poison Rana. That might have changed the landscape of this match. She sent flying into the corner. From the middle rope. Taking Rock and Rana. Ooh, she just turned it around. Standing shooting. Incredible. It's incredible the inventiveness we are seeing on display here. Flair is falling behind now. Charlotte trying to withstand this surge. Charlotte a step ahead there. Now tagging her in. Here. Running her Colorado. Showing up the quickness. That'll turn the is it enough here? She breaks the count quick. Impressive to not even allow. Two count at this juncture. Stop in the arm. Ah, oh, 
shin breaker. Not done yet. Into the dragon screw. She catches Bailey with a counter. Hooked up. That takes him down. Down low with the drop kick. Tossed into the corner. Talk about rocking the jaw. She was looking highly motivated, getting hyped up. Oh my God, a DDT! Lights out. Standing shooting star press, incredible! Bailey is now under pressure. Bailey's being cut off. Off the top. Dummy arm drag! I like yours better, Cole. And now it's Bailey on her heels. <laughs> by Bailey. Bailey managing to find some of that needed. He's looking for the win. And the count stopped short of two. Still has a great amount of fight in them. Not going to let it end like this. And now thrown back into the ring. She certainly has the confidence of her aunt. Looks like she's setting up for the Justine Jammer. A tribute move in tribute gear. We're about to see a once-in-a-lifetime moment. Not if Charlotte Flair has anything to say about it. You only have one chance to make a first impression, and this one might include a hurt ankle. And Rhea's taking advantage. Rip time! Covered by Ripley! Rhea got her. With the elimination, Team Raw now has the advantage. What a letdown for the Blue Squad. She definitely didn't expect to be out so early in this match. The top rope mishap and apparent ankle injury played a key role in that. And it looks like Charlotte Flair is determined to add insult to injury. Wait a minute, Hall of Famer Justine is here. We haven't seen Justine in a WWE arena for over a decade. One thing is clear, the WWE Universe is thrilled to see this venerated six-time women's champion here tonight in any circumstance. And it looks like Justine is just as thrilled to see them. Things might not have turned out how she wanted for her niece, but she's loving this crowd. I'm just hoping that Justine can get her niece on the right track. After this debut, she certainly needs some guidance.
I can't say that was the debut we were hoping for. I don't know what happened. It was like you said, I got a little inspired by Justine and I wanted to do her justice with her old finisher. So you decided to do something showy, took your eyes off what was happening and let Charlotte blindside you. I'm sorry, I won't let it happen again. I got carried away. You did. Remember, you're here because you're good and you could be great. I wouldn't maybe Of course you're... I'm right. I'm a WWE legend. I'll do my At least sure. Did you hear that pop? What? The sound of my ankle popping or my career imploding? Oh, how is that ankle? Or more importantly, how's that ego? Ankle's okay. Ego? That's another story. Well, your gear looked great. Thanks. Sorry I couldn't do you proud. You always make me proud. Just have a better match next time. Besides, you may have made a mistake in the ring, but Charlotte still acted out of line. Believe me, I'm mad about it. But I'm not sure that Charlotte did anything you wouldn't have done. Nah, but one of the perks of having a career-ending injury is getting to apply unrealistic standards on the next generation. Why do you think I like training you so much? Right. Listen, I don't want to leave if you need to talk, but I got word that WWE management wants to chat before we head out. Something about the buzz online, whatever that means. You okay? If anyone taught me how to be resilient, it's you. I'm fine. I'll talk to you later. That's my girl. What was that about? I like to show off as much as the next person, but that was embarrassing. Sorry. I understand why you're upset, but I did my best. You grew up learning from one of the most talented WWE legends in history, and that's your best? I did a better job teaching myself in my backyard. Don't expect this to blow over with the SmackDown Women's Locker Room. The Raw women are gonna rub this loss in our faces for a long time. But what people forget is that for someone to win, someone else has to lose. It is better to win, though. Of course. Actually, speaking of winning, I have a few developments that Ruthless Digressions listeners will be thrilled to hear about. Oh. Care to share with those listeners or your co-host? Like I told my niece at Survivor Series. Patience, Robin. Patience. Welcome to SmackDown. Thanks. You know, after what Liv said at Survivor Series, I wasn't sure if I'd be getting the warmest welcome today. Oh, you won't be. But I have a different perspective than the rest of the girls. In fact, I'm actually usually pretty rude to the newbies because, well, I don't want them coming for my SmackDown Women's Championship, but I don't have to worry about you at all. But I plan on coming for that championship. <laughs> oh my goodness, you're hilarious. 
after your huge mistake in the Survivor Series match, I know that must have been a joke. I don't have to be rude to you at all. We can be friends. I think we're done here. LJ, welcome to SmackDown. How you doing? I'm sorry that Survivor Series didn't go so well. Yeah, not the debut I was hoping for. Well, you're here now. How do I get a match? Well, you want to talk to Molly first. What do you mean, talking? I mean, huh. just seems so easy. It I is. understand. Okay. Definitely. So, thanks, Tom. Fancy. So, I know I didn't exactly get the best start, but I've got my head on straight now, and I'm ready to go. That's great to hear. What do you have for me tonight? Now, here's something that's less great to hear. WWE management thinks that after everything that's happened... Don't worry, I'm not going to make the same mistake twice. But I need to redeem myself and show the WWE Universe what I can really do. I need at least a little spotlight. I think you might have to settle for no spotlight. Backstage sentiment on you is not good right now. You may be a SmackDown superstar, but you've got an uphill battle if you actually want to be on the show. So my match tonight is... Non-existent. Ah. What can I do? I don't want to just sit in catering. No one does, but this will all blow over. My advice until then, find some way to make an impact. Be so good in the ring that they can't den- How am I supposed to- I said I couldn't get you a match on SmackDown. Pretty busy or pretty- Yeah. We've met. I'm not sure she wants to work with me. Neither of you have to work with anyone. You just have to show up and fight each other. Get her to agree to... Well, if it isn't little Justine. I would say I'm sorry how your big debut turned out, but I don't like to lie. What do you want? What do I want? I just feel like maybe we got off on the wrong foot at Survivor Series. Tensions were high, I probably unintentionally insulted you. I just want to make amends. I bet we have more in common than you think. Needs, goals, that sort of thing. <sighs> you must really need something. I was hoping we could help each other. Molly says she can get me a match on main event if I can find an opponent. After everything you said at Survivor Series, I thought of you. Are you interested? Sure. Great. That was actually easier than I thought. Oh, but let me be clear. I want a match on main event, but not one against you. I want to make an impact here in WWE and make my matches count. It doesn't help me at all to defeat some jobber. What did you just call me? If I wasn't perfectly clear at Survivor Series, I like people who've come up the right way and paid their dues, not nieces who get... Regardless of what you... I know as well... I don't waltz. We can agree to disagree, LJ.